Mr. Beast sues Mr. Beast. That's crazy. But it's Mr. Beast Burger suing Mr. Beast. Oh, my God. Okay. So the the headline is that Mr. Beast Burger, which is completely different than Mr. Beast himself, Jimmy, is suing Mr. Beast Jimmy <laughs> for $100 million dues. That was a that was very confusing. Okay, so yeah, so Mr. Beast Burger, which is um a brand by Virtual Dining Concepts, okay. which Mr. Beast Jimmy, the content creator, worked with to create mm -hmm. the original branding of Mr. Beast Burger, the Ghost Kitchen Company. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, does it? Yeah, so it's okay. essentially Virtual Concepts yes. is suing Mr. Beast. Yes, Wait. that's much easier, but yeah, yeah. less title grabbing. Yeah, so, it's okay. Virtual Dining Concepts, Mr. Beast Burger is suing Mr. Beast because Mr. Beast sued him, sued them mm -hmm. for inedible food and irreplaceable like harm to his brand. Yeah, because of the terrible burgers oh, that yeah, they created. Yeah, that's true. And. We confirmed here on our podcast. We did confirm here on or our, our YouTube channel at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we confirmed that the <laughs> that the food was not great from certain no. places, but Virtual Dining Concepts is saying that by him stating that they were say having terrible food, Mr. Beast hurt their business. That's true. We haven't had Mr. Beast Burger since that statement no. came out. Not at all. Or not since the last time. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, it, it was. It's a kind of a, a tough thing to order, anyways. But, yeah. Um. So, Virtual Dining Concepts is saying that they this publicity and Mr. Beast saying these things and the lawsuit from Mr. Beast is causing enormous financial harm and they're claiming that mr beast was um upset that he couldn't get a better deal on the um on the contract because he tried mm. to renegotiate multiple times oh okay prior to him um denouncing mr beast burger so these negotiations started uh, November uh, 2022, February 2023, and the last negotiation was June 2023. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so they've he's tried to negotiate renegotiate the contract multiple times, and they're now claiming that he was just trying to, um, you know, try to get well, try to get a better deal, and because he didn't get a better deal, he wanted to void the contract all com altogether. Oh, that's interesting. And that's why that. he made the statements, potentially. These are alleged things. So how does that do you do you think that's why he did that? Or do you think it's actually had valid concerns of quality? I think he had valid concerns of quality. You know, uh, it's hard because it's like maybe I watched a lot of Mr. Beast. I watched yes. I watched like almost every one of his video. I mean, who doesn't? Because it's like, oh, he's, yeah, he's the he's the king. Yes, he the YouTube king, content king. Yes, he hits you with the saber, every, or he hits you with the scepter every time. Um, so, yeah, it's hard for me to see him negatively. I think this is just yeah. my maybe my perception of it because he yeah. has done so much. He's done good. a lot of good, yeah. Yeah, he's done a lot of good. So any, I, I feel like any company that's against him too could be seen in the wrong. Yeah. Even because of the public perception that he has. Like he has a charity. He yeah. He cured a hundred people blind. He has, uh, yeah, he has like Mr. Beast philanthropy. Yes, you know, he Like does. the donation or like just the food bank that he runs as well. Yeah. So I think like, he has a, a definite brand. I think in terms of brand size, Mr. Beast himself has a larger brand presence than this virtual dining concepts. Yeah, 100% agree with so that. So in terms of the amount of damage that virtual dining concepts could do to Mr. Beast versus what Mr. Beast could do to them, I think like their um, 
lack of quality control probably could do more harm to the Mr. Beast brand because he's bringing, I think like there was a valuation by some people that were saying that they were saying like 500, 600 million dollars or something. It was a very large amount of money for, um, his like channel b- for his, his channel brand, and his yeah. brand. Yes. Yeah. Um, one thing that on a separate note, one thing that I found interesting was that apparently this is unconfirmed, but I, if I can have the, um, a quote or something, I'll put it up here. But, um, supposedly viral dining concepts copyrighted Mr. Beast that this, the term Mr. Beast. And I'm like, huh? Mm, that's a little weird. That seems like a big oversight by, by Jimmy, by Mr. Beast himself. Yeah. But I do think that Mr. Beast has the fans behind him. Cause like, you know, Oh yeah. They're going to tear, like tear him, tear everything apart. Yeah. Cause like one, I don't know. He, even though he's like a very big and like very present person, I I think like the the fans will stick behind that, especially when there's a lot of evidence to show that the quality wasn't there. You know what I think could also be cited. I just thought about this: is the way he runs his uh, chocolate brand. Yeah, Feastables. Yes, the way he runs Feastables compared to the virtual dining concepts on mm-hmm. how they run Mr. Beast. If I guess if he could show the the amount of quality uh, control he has and the amount of uh, amount of effort he puts in, it might yeah. make a difference. But yeah, because um, I guess one of the latest like um videos he had was that he went on a raft for i think seven days in the I middle of the ocean that, yeah, yeah. yeah and he did have mr beast chocolate bars he did he didn't have the mr beast burgers though no obviously not yes so yeah i think that as time progresses we might give an update but we did do a mr beast taste test which is crazy we did a it. mr beast taste test and we did a mr beast video uh, of him suing them yes it's because cr- of shit quality but my thing is more surprisingly that we tried it twice <laughs> we did try twice and um on the <laughs> basically lost episodes on the podcast yes. audio form only and then again on the um on an earlier episode of yeah Sid disarray which is crazy because it's like yeah we do have a clip of you i don't think we'll we'll, uh, we'll we won't add it here it but, was, it, but it was in the last video yes yes but yeah, it's crazy. It's a it's crazy that we even tried it. And if you like this type of content, consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Um, it only takes you a second to do. We come out with content daily, and we have a library of over a hundred videos that you could look in. One of them may or may not interest you, but if one of them doesn't interest you now, we might con. Like come up with another new topic in the future that might interest you. Yeah, and if you have any suggestions also for uh, for videos, leave them down in the comments down below. Yeah.